So we are right now in the neighborhood of about here, making our way towards Elephant Island. We'll make our final approach to Point Wild is where we're going to go. And then we'll assess the situation. I'm going to let you know that I've been to Point Wild probably in the neighborhood of about 20 plus times. Uh, and I think I've been able to do a Zodiac cruise twice and land once. And there is a historical monument for the captain of the Yocho that uh, rescued the gentleman. And this is the spit of land that they stayed on for their few months that they were waiting for the boss to go get them. So what we're going to do is make our approach, come in by ship, and then we'll assess the situation. I'm going to let you know that I've been to Point Wild probably in the neighborhood of about 20 plus times. Uh, and I think I've been able to do a Zodiac cruise twice and land once. Monument. That monument is erected in the area of where they stayed. And I would like you to think of what it might have been like to be there for those three and a half, four months, not knowing if you're going to be rescued, not knowing if the boss even made it to South Georgia. Because let's face it, when he left in the James Caird, that little white boat in the museum at Gritviken, the chances and the odds were against him. And so to watch your only hope sail away in that vessel and then not knowing whether he even got somewhere and then to know that you're going to be rescued and in that same time of thinking about that time of waiting think about what it would have been like to see that vessel show up and knowing that one he made it and then he made it alive and two that he came back to get you those are really remarkable um, things to think about and what those gentlemen went through uh, in their ordeal of 400 plus days at sea and of which most of them were without a ship. So uh, it, it was the end of their, their story where we're going to take you tomorrow and it plays a very important part of our South Georgia leg, our Shackleton leg of the area. Well, we might get a little bit more wet.